Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Um, so if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I have recently just got back from LA. I was there for 10 days. I went with my friend Joel and my other friend Yannin. Um, kind of for work, kind of for pleasure. Um, I just love LA, so any excuse to go, I was literally like, take me with you. I want to come. Um, I just find it, it's so extra and it's so bougie that like I just love everything about LA and I love how like, I don't know, I feel like as an influencer I'm just like in my element when I'm there because it just makes me feel so creative and I just love everyone that I meet because everyone's got such an interesting story behind them I feel so yeah so I had the best time I spent way too much money as always I feel like you cannot go to LA and not spend a ridiculous amount of money I mean I was extra bougie and spent money on G63s and Jeep Wranglers, which I didn't need to do, but you know, you're in LA, so why not? Um, but I thought, why not put the stuff I got in LA to good use and make a haul video of it, because I do feel like it has been forever since I've done a haul style video. And I kind of also wanted to film this video because I wanted it to be a little bit of a what you should buy when you go to America, um, especially obviously if you don't live there and you come from the UK like myself, there are so many things that you can get in America that you cannot get here that I can't live without. And I feel like it's only through people I've met within the industry, like PRs and different bloggers and stuff who've told me about these things, that I know to go and get them. So I wanted to share that with you guys. They're honestly the most randomest things. Like literally, I think you'll be baffled at the things I get excited by. But I thought I'd just share them with you anyway because if you guys are on your travels to America anytime soon, you need them in your life. So if you want to find out what they are and see what I got and spent all my money on when I was in LA, then please keep watching. So I thought it would make sense to start off with my favourite, Sephora. Um, I, I think I went into about 7 million different ones while I was there. Um, just because I feel the need to look in every single one in case one of them's got something different that I don't already have in my life. Um, I've kind of picked out the best bits that I bought because a lot of it was kind of random stuff. Um, that is not really that interesting but these are the things that I like kind of swear by and kind of make a beeline for when I go to Sephora so let's start with them so first up is it's got to be this one it's out of its packaging because I used it when I was in LA so this is the Tom Ford shimmer body oil now obviously you can get this in the UK but I never can like I just can never get it when it in the UK I feel like it's sold out everywhere so whenever I go to America, Sephora's always seem to be stocked up on it. This was actually the last bottle in the Santa Monica Sephora, so I was very pleased with my purchase of this one. Best body oil, hands down. There's nothing like this one. I mean, I've tried them all, and I feel like this is the only one that gives you, like, that glow with a bit of glitter, but it doesn't look like you've just, like, dusted yourself in glitter and it looks a bit cheap. The, I can't recommend this one enough. Like, it's amazing. It's so good. It's worth every penny. I literally, if I could bathe in this stuff, I would. Then the next thing that I got that I, it's kind of a recent beauty product for me really, um, but I've become obsessed with, and it is this Rose Gold Elixir Oil um, from, I would love to say the name, but I really can't. Um, I'll link it below for you guys anyway though. So basically, I put this on at night, or I also always put it on before my primer um, when I'm doing my makeup. The reason I do this is because I feel like it makes my makeup go on so much better and it gives my kind of foundation like a really dewy look because I don't like that really kind of matte look. I like to kind of have a bit of shine to my face just because I feel like it makes you look a little bit more alive. Um, and I love this for it. Like I just feel like it feels like, you know how makeup can sometimes make your skin feel like it's drying out? When this is on as a base, it kind of gives your face so much moisture that when you put any makeup products on top, they don't feel like they're kind of like absorbing the moisture from your skin. They just put like kind of glide on really nicely. Um, it is a little bit pricey. I think it's because it has got 24 karat gold infused in it. Um, but it's worth it and it lasts for forever because obviously it's an oil and you only use a tiny bit. So I would really, really, really recommend this. I will link this one below for you guys. Next up was something that's kind of new um, that I've seen on Instagram quite a lot and it is these Acne Clear Invisible Dots. And basically, um, so they're from Peter Thomas Roth and they're basically like little tiny clear, um, they kind of look like little mini plasters that are clear and you just put them on spots on your face because I'm lucky, like my skin is never too bad but I do just occasionally get the odd breakout. So I wanted to find something that was really good at kind of like 
just kind of targeting that one spot, do you know what I mean? So I'd seen a lot of these and I was like, I need to get them, I need to try them out. I tried them when I was in LA actually because I had the most annoying spot literally like right in the middle of my eyebrows because that's where they like to be. Um, and it worked amazingly. Like the next morning it like shrunk in size dramatically. So I'm excited to use these a bit more because I feel like I'm gonna fall in love with them. The other thing I got, obviously a beauty blender. I can't go into Sephora without buying another one. Probably don't need another one, but this one was like their new kind of like swirly one and it's a new color. So had to buy it, obviously. Then I bought um, these kind of handbag perfumes that you can get in Sephora. So I got the Alien um, by Terry Mugler because I just love that scent and I feel like everyone does as well. And I also got, this one's out of its packaging because I've used it, the Tom Ford Black Orchid because it is literally the best perfume. I'm obsessed with these two. Probably two of my favourite perfumes actually. That's like what I normally smell off. It's either Tom Ford or Alien. Um, and then I got, because I've seen so much about them and I hadn't actually tried them, the Tarte Lip Paints. Um, just because I'm obsessed with matte lipsticks so I'm always looking for like kind of new ones to try um, and these ones were kind of going around on the gram and I was like need to try them so I got the colour OG which is kind of like a grey nude um, which I quite like it's really nice, like a mushroom I suppose you could describe and the other one which I am obsessed with is Pillow Talk um, it was the nude that I was basically wearing in all my Instagram pictures in LA, hence why it's not in the box because I think it's in my car because I've literally worn it all the time. Um, yeah, so this is currently my favourite nude colour. So yeah, Pillow Talk is a vibe. And then lastly, I got, well the last thing I want to share with you guys, is I got this rubber mask um, from Dr. Jart, I want to say. Um, and basically the reason I got it is because my friend Joel who I was there with was like I tried these and they're amazing and also really fun because they're rubber and I just love a face mask that's actually entertaining to put on your face probably such a child but yeah so I haven't actually tried it yet but I've heard amazing things they did like a whole range but this one apparently is gonna tighten and deep cleanse my pores so I was like what what more could I want um, so I'm gonna try this one but I'll let you guys know on like snapchat when I'm trying it because I always do with my different face masks it's always happening on snapchat um, but yeah I'm excited to try it because Joel said it worked really well for him so yeah so that's basically kind of like my top picks when I go to Sephora at the moment and the things that I would like say are must buys so next up we have my goodies from CVS and this is where the excitement for me happens because these are all the stuff that I was talking about at the beginning that you need to buy when you go to America basically like I make a beeline for CVS whenever I get to anywhere in America um, because the stuff you can get there you just cannot get in England so I'll start off with my probably my favorite things and things I always buy Crest whitening strips now why we don't do these in the UK I do not know because it's literally like a professional I mean I know it says it on the box professional what like level treatment and it actually is i've had my teeth professionally whitened by my dad because he's a dentist random fact about sarah um and i had that done when i was 16 and i literally have not seen anything that's whitened my teeth like that apart from these so it annoys me so much you can't get them in the uk i mean if you can please let me know but i've never seen them anywhere um so i get the to be honest I change every single time, but I kind of get the ones that are around $69, so this, that's how much these ones were. I mean, the cheap ones do work as well, but I feel like these ones work really well. Um, the reason I know they work well is because they make my teeth sensitive, which is kind of what happens when you whiten your teeth. Um, it's obviously just part of, because it obviously changes the enamel on your teeth, so it exposes it to the dentine, so obviously it makes your teeth a bit sensitive, so if that happens, don't worry, that's normal. My dad has said that, so I'm gonna go with that, seeing as he's professional. Um, so just use some sensitive toothpaste and you'll be fine. Um, but yeah, that's why I feel like they work really well, because I know you can get teeth whitening products in the UK, but I feel like if they don't make my teeth sensitive, I just think they're not working, because obviously that's what a professional treatment does. Um, so I'm obsessed, like they are so good, and really easy to use. And then the other thing along those lines is, the Crest Whitening Toothpaste. Now the reason I get this is because, again, it actually works. Like, I see such a difference when I use this toothpaste to any other toothpaste you can get in the UK. Like, obviously there's so many on the market that are like, these are gonna whiten your teeth, and they really don't. These do. Like, I don't know what it is. I feel like there must be something in America that they can put in these things that we're not allowed in the UK. I don't know, but amazing like those two together your teeth are just gonna be like such a vibe i swear to god like they are amazing the next thing that i would say is my absolute like godsend when i travel is and now before 
I show you these, I am not promoting taking painkillers or sleeping pill pills or anything like that, um, you know, when you don't need them. That's not what I'm doing here. I'm kind of just sharing something that works for me when I travel because I'm not great on a plane. So Advil PMs, if you have not heard of them, they are the most amazing sleeping tablets ever. Like you take two of these and you are out for the count like for a good nine hours. Like they completely zonk me out. And the reason I heard about them is because I was flying to New York Fashion Week last year and the PR was like, you need to get some Advils because they'll knock you out of the plane, you'll sleep the whole way and you'll wake up and you'll feel really good. And that is the reason I take them. I don't take them in the UK because obviously I don't need to and I don't want to become addicted to sleeping pills. But for flights, I think they're amazing. Like when I've got to get on a long haul flight and I want to sleep, I, they never let me down ever like I will take two and just sleep the whole way and for me that's amazing because I'm not good when I'm tired so if I arrive grouchy and tired it's not fun for anyone so they're kind of a lifesaver for me and also they are good when you are in England and you've got like a really bad headache you can't sleep um, yeah that's kind of why I want to talk about them and as I say I'm not promoting you know overdosing on sleeping pills or anything like that so please don't take it that way it's just me sharing something that I think is amazing for like when I travel or if I'm suffering from really bad jet lag and I can't sleep they're amazing like they are so good but obviously use with caution because they are a strong sleeping pill so that's all I'm gonna say next up is something that I got when I was last in LA that I've now it has now become essential for me to get and they are the Ardell um, eyebrow razors now obviously I know that eyebrow razors are kind of hard to come by in the UK and I swear by them like I don't everyone's always like oh where do you get your eyebrows I don't really do much to my eyebrows I don't get them waxed I don't really pluck them I don't get them threaded, I just occasionally whenever I see a bit of hair use these eyebrow razors to just clean up the edge, that's pretty much all I do and I think they are amazing because it's so quick and easy to do and I think it's really easy, you know like obviously they say like your whole life is in the hands of your eyebrow lady, like you do, like if someone doesn't get the shape they can mess up your whole face, so I feel like if you can do it yourself, which I feel like you can do with these, you get like really good eyebrows every time because you know the exact shape you want and you can tidy up the top and the bottom, you can do it all with these and they're so cheap, so these are amazing. Next up we have Duo Eyelash Glue, again I think you can actually get this in the UK but I just stock up on it when I'm in America because I just, I don't know, I just think it's, it might be cheaper or it's just easily accessible I think. Um, I get the one that like is translucent and dries clear just because I feel like it sticks my lashes on better and this is the glue that I swear by, I like, use it all the time and my lashes never fall off. It's industrial strength, like it's amazing. Next is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Now I know you can get this in the UK but you can't get the colour neutralizer in the UK and that's why I stuck up on it because in the UK we've only got like light medium and like something I think probably dark or whatever but you can't get neutral now neutral I'm wearing it today actually it's such a good color because it's like pale but it's not like too light it's just it's just a great color so that's the other thing I always stock up on is the neutral color of this because it's so cheap um, but you just can't get it here so this is a must if you're in a CVS or a drugstore go and get your hands on this and then lastly from the CVS bag is something that I found about found out about this time around and that is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry nail polishes. Now I haven't tried these before, bought them when I was out there because I needed to paint my nails. Oh my god, they're amazing. Like they do the most amazing colour range and they dry instantly. Like they literally do insta dry, like it's amazing. So kind of a random one, but I thought I'd throw it in and show you guys because I was so impressed with them. So if you're in a CVS, go and stock up on all of these because if you're like me and you do not have time for your nails to dry, this is gonna become your new best friend. So next up is one that's probably kind of random, but not that random. Um, I went into Barney's when I was in um, the Grove and I bought myself this Saint Laurent wallet. Um, I've kind of wanted a new wallet for ages, thought I would treat myself to this one. I basically, whenever I buy anything designer, like, I basically just buy, like, classic things. I don't go too crazy, like, all the designer bags I have are very kind of, like, simple, um, timeless pieces. So when I saw this, I was like, this is perfect, because it's just, like, plain black. It's got the little YSL logo on the zip here. 
which I am trying to show you, there you go. Um, yeah, and it's got Saint Laurent written here, and I just love that it's just simple, um, and as I say, timeless, like, that's why I feel like if I'm going to spend my money on something designer, I want it to be something that I'm going to have for forever. I've just always been like that, because I just... I always like stress out when I buy designer things because I'm like, oh, it's so much money. Um, but yeah, so that's what I would say when it comes to buying designer. That's like my tip at buying things like that. Um, but yeah, so that was a big splurge, but I thought, hey, why not? I'm in LA and I'm spending money, so let's just spend some more. So next up, we have clothes because obviously it couldn't be a haul without some clothes, let's be honest. Um, so literally, day two of being in LA, I was like, we need to go to Sorella Boutique, it's my favourite shop ever. Also, it's where they have the big girls tall photo wall in on Melrose, so if you're going to LA and you've not been before, go, because it's a great Instagram spot. And you know me, I'm all about the Instagram shots. So I went in there and spent a lot of money, as always. Um, so I start off with, I got this really oversized a denim jacket uh, which got like distressed detail and it says girls tour on the back um which like i'm obsessed with and i just love anything oversized like i don't think i buy anything in my own size anymore everything is either from the men's section or women's like size xxl i swear to god like i just love everything being really big um yeah so that i i just love and i really like the color of it i feel like it's a kind of different blue it's like a very blue denim but i quite like that then I got, I actually got two of these, so they're like a ribbed material and they're basically a bodycon dress with a one shoulder detail, I'm obsessed with this one shoulder kind of detail vibe, um, yeah I literally am in love with it and the material of this is so cool because it's like a, like a nice thick rib so it's kind of going to be, fl it's flattering on should we say, I've got it in black as well so it comes in black and white, and it's just a nice kind of like one of those dresses when you're like, you don't want to look too dressy but you want to look nice. This is what I feel like it would be perfect for that. And I like that it's kind of distressed on the head. It's got a cool kind of finish to it. Then I also got this swimming costume, which is like high-legged and says girls tour in neon green on the front, which I love. I love kind of like when they put like random colours with things and the neon green is amazing. Um, speaking of which, I also got the crop top, which is very similar. Um, I just love it and I love the girls tour logo. I think it's really cute. I loved it that much that yes, Yes, Sarah unnecessarily bought it in black as well because why not? Because I'm the kind of person that's like, I love anything that I can just chuck on with like leggings and a denim jacket and be like, okay, I'm leaving the house now. Because like I do, I dress like a slob like 90% of the time. Like this kind of stuff like I'm wearing now, I just live in because it's just easy. Do you know what I mean? I'm so lazy, I swear to God. Um, and then I also got this kind of like bardo neckline off the shoulder top which again is in that kind of like ribbed stretchy fabric and it's so simple like it's such a simple top but again it's easy and it'll look really nice with just like jeans um it's just kind of that piece that you can dress up or dress down and that to me is just what i need my wardrobe to be full of because if i have to put too much thought and effort into something it's just not happening um and then i also got this which is what everyone went crazy over on instagram it is this um, Louis Vuitton, I suppose you'd call it, it's obviously not Louis Vuitton, um, it's from Sorella Boutique, but it's got the print on it. It's like a romper, so it's kind of like a, it's like a cycling short vibe, so it's got like shorts, it's, it's hilarious really. Um, but I just loved it because I was like, it's so cute that it's kind of got the Louis Vuitton print on it. And the best thing about it is because it's really tight, the reason I bought it was because I was like, realistically I'm probably not going to wear it as a romper, but I knew that I could put it under jeans, under shorts, and it would look like a bodysuit, and it does. And it. I'm obsessed, like it's amazing, it's so cute and I just have never seen anything like it and I was like, I need it in my life. So that's what I mean, that's why I love Sorella Boutique, so you've just got stuff like that and you're just, like, just different stuff, not the kind of stuff you see all the time, which is why I'm obsessed with the shop. And then I also got um, some of their oversized t-shirts which say girls tour on them, so I got a white one and I got a nude one, but I wore the nude one while I was out there, so it's currently in the wash, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, and these are amazing, just wears like t-shirt dresses with like shoe boots um, or heels or even like over like leggings and stuff if you want to go for that really oversized look, they're amazing. Um, I love those. And they do them in all different colours, so, and you can get, I mean you can get Sorella Boutique online, but I know if you're in the UK like paying the delivery and the customs and stuff can be a bit of a nightmare, but if obviously if you're going to LA, just make sure you check them out, because they are amazing. Um, next up is, basically I got... Um, some vintage band tees because, so I'll show you them first, so I got this one, which is a Pink Floyd one, and it's got 
this on the back. I'm obsessed with band tees, like band tees and jeans and like Converse or some form of trainer like is my go-to outfit because I just think it's so easy. Chuck on a leather jacket if it's cold and you've got yourself a great outfit. Some hoop earrings, you've nailed it. Like I love a band tee. So yeah, so I got that one. I also got this one which I'm obsessed with. So this is the Metallica one and it's got this on the back. I love back detail on t-shirts, literally. Um, I also got, literally, there's quite a few. I got this Madonna one, because I love Madonna, and it says, fuck the world. So I thought, hey, why not? Let's get it. It's really cool. Um, and then I got another one, but again, I wore that when I was out there, so it's in the wash, because I literally got that like two days ago, and I haven't had time. Um, but yeah, the reason I want to show them is because Yannon took me to this shop that is on Melrose Avenue, and it's literally called the Vintage T-Shirt Store, and all they do in there is just vintage T-shirts. Like, it is honestly just uh, racks and racks of vintage t-shirts and there is nothing like that in the UK there's just nothing like that um, obviously like some of them are quite pricey because they're like limited edition or really rare but you know they're quite reasonable like they were probably like between 40 and 60 dollars I'd say for the t-shirts and I just love I could have had everything in there because I just think buying vintage t-shirts can be quite hard especially band tees and good ones so if you go to LA and you're on Melrose make sure you check them out plus like the owner who was in there or like the guy that was working there has got some really cool stories he was like yeah Leonardo DiCaprio always comes in here and buys his t-shirts whenever he's here I was like okay that's casual like this is just what happens in LA um, and then lastly this is also a vintage tea um, which is this kind of like long sleeve, so it's got a Harley Davidson patch on the front, so it's like long and it's got long sleeves. And then on the back, it's got this, and it's got some detailing down the side, which I just love. Like that's to me, like just chuck that over like leggings and like some black Yeezys, and I'm like, I think that's just cool and it's easy. Um, and that was from the flea market, which is on Fairfax um, on Sundays. I don't know if it's every Sunday or whether it's like. A Sunday of the month but if you're there when it's on go because honestly like it just I just everything about it's so cool and again they've got loads of vintage stuff loads of kind of like one-off pieces that you just can't get anywhere else um so obviously like would love to link these ones below but obviously they're one-offs and they're vintage so I can't but if you're in LA go to check those places out because you'll find stuff like that and I was obsessed literally obsessed so another shop that we went into um is called Kit Ross and it is like a store that I would basically, the way I describe it, it's kind of like a gift shop that you would want to go there when you got to buy a present for someone who has everything. Do you know what I mean? Like that person. It's like my friends always say that about me. They're like, what do we buy you? Because you're just so hard to buy for. And this is the kind of shop that I would like send them to. So it's just got loads of like trinkety things and like gifts that you just wouldn't think of but like literally love. So I got a lot of stuff, but a lot of it was presents. I've kind of given it away when I got back home. Um, like random tea towels and things like that that just say funny like things on them but one of the things I did buy when I was in there which you can get online because I actually follow them on Instagram is this Jack I want to say Vanek I've never had to say the brand out loud before but I think it's Vanek um it's like a camo jacket which obviously like you know on the front is like just an oversized camo jacket which I love with a patch on the sleeve but I just love the back of this like I just I think that is amazing. I love anything literally that's got like a slogan on it, especially if it's written on the back. I don't know why I'm obsessed with back detail. So I just thought that was just a bit of fun really. Um, that's quite cute. And also, I shop for the Instagram. I'm not going to lie. Like I pick things up and I'm like, that would make a great Instagram post. Please tell me if someone else does that because I feel like I'm so weird. But honestly, like I will be buying stuff and I'll have the Instagram picture already in my head. Blogger life. <laughs> So lastly, I feel like this is going to be the world's longest video and if you stuck through to the end, thanks because I know I can ramble on for a long time. Um, but I thought I'd finish with Mistress Rocks because I went to the House of CB store in Melrose just because I love House of CB and the store is amazing. It's just so nice. I just love the way, like the aesthetics of it and like the, just everything about it. It's just really nice. So yeah, so I went in, but I, my favourite probably of the two is Mistress Rocks, just because that brand is a little bit more casual, so it's a little bit more me, um, so I thought I'd go in and get some stuff, because it's nice to actually try the stuff on. To start off with, I got this bodycon bandage, kind of, it's a, so it's a bandage skirt, but I love the fact that it looks like a denim skirt, um, and it's got, it's that really nice kind of like sucky in bandage material that actually is super flattering. Um, yeah, no, so, and I just love the colour, and as I say, I like that it looks like a denim skirt, um, so that was amazing, and I can obviously link these ones below for you guys because they'll be online. Um, I got this um, body, which is kind of simple, but 
I love I'm one, I love the colour of it, um, but I also love the detail. So it's just literally a plain bodysuit that buttons up the front um, in the camel. And obviously, I feel like obviously I don't think I'd wear it done up all to the top. I'd probably open up a few buttons, but I think we're just like jeans um, and even just like even trainers, something like that. Obviously, with heels, like nude court shoes and jeans. I think it would look amazing. Some hoop earrings um, would just look insane. And it's just I love things like that. As I say, something that's simple that you can just put on. Effortless. That's what we. That's what I'm here for. Um, and then lastly, I know. Lastly, we've made it to the end. Hallelujah. Um, I got two of these. So well, I say two. They're in different colours. They're basically, which I just love. So you get this mesh shirt. So it's like oversized mesh shirt. Is the the first thing, which I love. But underneath it, you get these little banded shorts, like so, and. A bralette so they come as a set and I love that you oh yeah so this is the bralette so you wear it underneath the mesh shirt and I just love things like that like I think that's so cool so I also got it in white I'll, sh I'll show you probably but it's literally exactly the same thing in black but you get the white mesh, the mesh shirt the shorts and the bralette and I think it's just so cool like on a night out with like some really cool heels or you know you could even wear the t-shirt part of it in the day and the bralette and wear it over some jeans or leggings things like that like I just love I think it would, I just think it would look really cool on a night out to be honest um because it's kind of like I don't know it's kind of like a dress kind of like a cohort it's a little bit sexy so I feel like night out vibes it'll, it'll look amazing um so I'm excited about that and when I tried it on I was like yes this is so good I have to buy it in both colors um but yeah so that is all of the clothes that I got while I was in LA. I know my bank account is crying a lot. So that is everything. Um, thank you so much for watching. As I say, if you've made it to the end, I appreciate you a lot because it's a long video. I was worried about this one. I thought, Jesus Christ, it's going to be so long. Um, as I say, what I will do is I will link everything I can below. Anything that I can't, um, I will put either the Instagram links or the shop themselves so that if you go to LA, you know exactly like where to go to buy the stuff or to visit the shops and things like that um because these are my favorite places to visit whenever i go to la so i don't want you guys to miss out um yeah as i say thank you so much for watching give the video a thumbs up if you've liked it and you want to see some more haul style videos because you know i i don't I, it's not that I don't love doing them because I do, I just worry that they're always really long. But if you guys enjoy them, then please do let me know. Um, don't forget to subscribe because uh, you'll all be pleased to know that I'm officially back to YouTube. Like, it's about time that I got my act together. I mean, seriously. I'm getting, I'm gonna get ready to get rid of that world's worst YouTuber title. Like, let's just get rid of that and let's actually do something, Sarah. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!